Thank you. After the shooting deaths of two Dallas Methodist Hospital employees at work, many people are asking what can they know or what should they know when it comes to their safety in a public place. Our Steve Pickett is live right now from Methodist Dallas Medical Center. And Steve, we actually know that the Department of Criminal Justice is now speaking out about this. Where, where are we on this tonight? You know, because they're using the example of the tragedy of what happened inside this hospital, the killing of those two nurses and the suspect, Nestor Hernandez. Uh, the agency and a statement essentially said, as it relates to him or any parolee, they are transitioning back to society. And that includes the opportunity for them to visit family members. In this case, they say Nestor Hernandez, the suspect, uh, had that right. And they saw nothing to indicate that he should not be able to visit his family here. Are you on probation or anything like that, man? Nestor Hernandez, captured in this recording by Carrollton police back in June. First name Nestor. Taken into custody back then on a parole violation warrant. He would not, however, return to prison. Instead, the now accused killer of two Dallas Methodist health workers continued under state supervision with an electronic monitor attached to his ankle. He was visiting his girlfriend and her newborn when he allegedly killed Jacqueline Pakua and Katie Flowers inside this hospital. Today, officials with the State Department of Criminal Justice said there was not an indication that Hernandez would act out violently in a hospital and allowing him the ability to visit loved ones in that setting would not be out of the normal course of supervision. Does not appear that there was any violation here uh, because it appears that he did have permission uh, to go to the hospital. He is former parole board commissioner Trent Marshall. He said today there are hundreds of parolees like Nestor Hernandez right here in North Texas who face conditions and restrictions but still have access to work sites, shopping malls, and yes, hospitals, despite calls to block their access. I understand the outrage and the need to assign blame. Again, TDCJ will evaluate their policies and procedures. Uh, I'm just not sure that, um, uh, that this situation could have been avoided. Uh, the police chief of this city, uh, Eddie Garcia, yesterday called it a failure of the criminal justice system because this man had an ankle monitor, uh, a violent criminal history, and was allowed to come here. Those words from uh, Mr. Garcia. But as you heard from uh, that former commissioner, the process, based on the information they had and that ankle monitor on this man, uh, again, those individuals would be allowed to see family members. He said, although there may be some changes in the process because the police agency for this hospital had no indication at all that this man would be coming here. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Yes, yeah, Steve.